this purpose consciousness. is the greatest gift you'll give yourself. The greatest potential at any moment of any time we could take a moment and breathe our way out of darkness, out of despair, out of illness, out of conflict, out of doubt, we can breathe our way out. There's something in us that knows how to begin. And beginning heals. But we must turn to ourselves. There are moments when you will find yourself alone. And often that's because we don't breathe our life. We don't take in fully the inspiration of why we are alive. And often we are in search of some other thing that cannot really compensate for what we are really searching for. Your unity with this potential of giving. Does that make sense? <laughs> <coughs> I'm a delightful when I hear a child. It's delightful to hear this quality of speech. It pulls the soul to it. <laughs> it, 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 it. There's a wonderful, wonderful sound in the imaginal life of an infant that says to the world, listen. You hear it? Yeah? It speaks to us as well. We still have that type of cry in our soul, saying, listen, I will remind you of why you came here in the first place. I'll remind you of why it will be hard to try to do the things that you're trying to do. But I will remind you of the hope and faith that is required to return to the self. To return to this, this, this intimacy that gives us permission to do the impossible. form of mentorship we call the Genesis Pathway. The conceptual intention of this form of mentorship is to say, you're here to do something that's impossible. To convince someone else of your gift. To tell the world you have something that is not in the world. Most people think everything is here. You know, so just get a job. That's what they tell our young people. And I'll keep reminding them, there's really no job for who you are to be unless you create it. <coughs> Unless you sanction it with yourself and the capacities that you bring, you may end up doing something for society, but your primary obligation is to be yourself, which makes society better because you can do a lot of good things for society if you are who you are to be. So this Genesis pathway was to say, begin to acknowledge this internal code that allows one to constantly overcome the tendency to withhold who we are 
what we can do to begin something that is impossible. Giving meaning to your life that can be given by anyone else. And to make that story true for everyone else that you meet. Many of you make them a believer of your potential in the world. This, this conversation to wake the moral imagination of someone else because you're living out something so authentic that they become convinced that that's really who you are. People can know you that way. People can get to know you that way. And agree with it to the degree that things that we cannot accomplish by ourselves becomes attainable because someone else agrees with you being who you must be. But there's a kind of stand that I must take. I must, I must be ready to take a stand for this impossibility. <coughs> well, I'm calling it impossible. Not that it is not possible, but it, 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 it's, a, it's a decision. And I'm saying it's impossible until you make the decision. After that, the, 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 the universe, the cosmos, the community, life, gives itself. We call the Genesis pathway. Life creates a pathway for us once we decide to create. And unique conversations begin. And the moral memory of our inner life begins to guide us towards this unfoldment of character and destiny. And we find the community that we belong to in order for the perfecting of our speech. There's a challenge in, in the development of, of youth. And that is one, one area that I was always interested in. How, what is it that's required to awake this, this purpose of the unfoldment? And often I found that it's, uh, it's the presence of another witness. Our character, or essentially our character wants a witness. And before our destiny takes hold, we, we, we have something in ourselves we call our character. A part of ourselves that we're shaping in order for others to see. And when, it's, when it wants to be seen and needs to be seen, and when it's seen, it takes hold of our destiny. It, 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 it gives us the, the threshold of initiation. And the, the character is a kind of open secret. People see it, but you know it well. You know why you are motivated the way you are to do this inner work. And it's a dialogue between the world and us about our character. Destiny will unfold, but the character is a kind of sacred task. Because there's no community without character. 